Hi, I'm Mike Hamilton. I'm over here at Lithia Toyota Redding, California. And today I'm gonna to feature one of the more commonly sold uh, vehicles in the Highlander class. This is a 2021 Highlander Hybrid XLE all-wheel drive. I'll be right back. And I'm back. And coming up to the front here, we have again our TNGA platform with the aggressive headlights that look angry. LED headlights, LED strips, LED fog lights, a honeycomb grill. You see the blue halo in the Toyota logo there. That tells you this vehicle is a hybrid of some sort. It is electrified. This makes this vehicle get 35 miles to the gallon on the average. Uh, what it does is uh, uses regenerative braking and assists the engine with two electric motors. Also behind that logo is a radar system that helps you in a front end collision. So up to speeds of uh, 110 miles an hour, if it feels you're going to collide with another vehicle, it's going to go into a brake mode, slow you down by 30 miles an hour, hopefully avoiding that accident. Also does the same to 50 miles an hour with pedestrians and cyclists. Then we got to go up to the top here. And we have a radar system in the in the windshield there, plus another camera system. That camera system does two different things. That camera system sees lines in the road for lane departure, will alert you if you're leaving your lane and slightly steer correct you, and also does lane trace now. Uh, so if you're going down the highway, I'm going to try to demonstrate that later on in this uh, video, but it's going to keep you in the lane where all you got to do is keep your hand on the steering wheel and it will just cruise down the highway, straight, stay straight in the middle of the lane. Also, it sees headlights coming at it at night and dims low beams if you use that too. And then you have an adaptive or radar pacing cruise control that, that slows you down without you kind of getting off the cruise control. Up on top, we do have our roof rack crossbars and a moonroof sunroof. Those roof rack crossbars are rated up to 300 pounds. We have Bridgestone tires on it, sitting on an 18 inch rim. Again, as I said in the last videos, Toyota's really stepped up the design of their rims. I think they've come out with quite a bit more attractive than this, the blah uh, alloy rims they've had in the past. Coming over here, let's go look in here. We have our, our turn signal indicators on the outside mirrors here. Uh, we do have the hybrid logo badging here and the all-wheel drive badging here. Uh, so that's all available in this particular unit here. Uh, coming up to our driver's door, uh, this is a proximity key. I'm not going to pull this out of my pocket, but it is in my pocket. If I want to lock this vehicle, there's two notches on this uh, door handle. I just put my hand, finger on the notch and it will lock it. Just locked it. That simple. Now I want to unlock it. All I do is grab the handle. And I just unlock the car. Makes it real nice and convenient. And we'll come up here to the window sticker. It's known as a Minroni sticker. It's based off of a, a senator that made that a law back in the 40s. But 35 miles. I'm trying not to get all the shadow in here. I'm kind of filming at the wrong time of the day. 35 miles average on this vehicle. All-wheel drive. I believe this is the best for its class. Toyota usually is a leader in the class with hybrid systems. Then we have our roof crack crossbars on top. Let's go ahead and demonstrate uh, doing the uh, lift gate here. So I'm going to show you the proximity key. This is your proximity key. It says Highlander on the back. There is a button and there are several ways to open up this lift gate. So I'm going to show you the way by using the fob by holding it for three seconds. And that's just gonna open up the gate. Come into the inside here, awaiting you is all weather cargo liner. Their all weather floor mats are in there for the new buyer. And then those back seats there uh, will fold down. So the third row is being folded down right now and not in service. Now I folded the, the middle row and you have just a ton of storage available always lots of cup holders we have four cup holders just for the uh, third row alone and i'm sure at least two to four for the middle row and more than that for the front row show you the versatility of these 
middle rows here and the back rows also. I have the uh, 40 side up further and then the, uh, the 60 split side in recline. You also get a couple cup holders. There's two more in the door. Uh, there's just a ton of cup holders. You got their air controls and USB ports, of course, are down here. And I'm back inside. So we have our typical stuff we're going to find in every vehicle. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Down below, we do have an A button there with it looks like a headlight. That's for your auto dimming high beam. And then you have your power liftgate button. So that's the third way of uh, opening up that liftgate or closing that liftgate. Then we have our driver's... Uh, uh, steering wheel here, which is I always like the this leather wrap, which is really comfortable and real nice. Uh, but this gives you just about everything at a touch here. So you have your lane uh, departure and adaptive cruise control, your radio controls, all your phone uh, information is all that, and that changes that uh, center screen there, which is known as the driver's information center. It gives you a ton of different information. Right now, we have it on the digital. Um, mile per hour screen uh with the uh distance to empty uh, and then we could come over and, and look at a bunch of other uh, screens that this thing has here so we have it has the uh, trip fuel economy which is really nothing because it only got nine miles on it uh, we have our like eco meter and uh things like that are on here um, back to that digital miles per hour then you have your uh, lane departure an adaptive cruise control screen and your lane trace screeners on this one here. Uh, radio information. I have a Sirius XM, but I have the volume all the way down, which I'll demonstrate in a little bit. Um, and then we have a lot of features on this one here. This is our all wheel drive. It's electric. There is no physical drive line going from the front to the back. It's all electric and all computerized, but this will tell you how the vehicle is getting its power uh, to each of the wheels, but there's more information than that. We're going to have our all our pre-collision system and blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alerts all showing here what's available. Um, our, this is our eco stuff for our hybrid systems that we're about 60% uh, charged on that here. Um, and then this will be like the PSI for the tires and it shows your PSI for the tires. So a lot of information on that screen. Uh, this is the uh, Toyota Safety Sense screen here, lane departure with uh, uh, steer assist on here uh, we have pre-collision system uh, we have our lane trace system our blind spot monitoring systems are involved in this here uh, we have our rear cross traffic alert that's a pretty cool thing so when you're backing in and out of a spot you're backing out blind you can't see uh, the sonar sees for you. you'll see a person walk into a vehicle coming it's going to audibly beep and then flash in your blind spot mirror the direction somebody's coming from this is the one that reads the speed limits and stop signs are for you. And this is all utility information for the vehicle. Coming up to the uh, infotainment screen here, nine inch screen. I have it on Sirius XM. This is known as a three panel screen. We got half our maps. Uh, when our, my phone would be connected, it would show my uh, phone information, and then it shows the radio information. There's a two panel screen. But if I want to go to full maps, I just touch it. Uh, and then I have full maps. Also, you have maps through your connective maps through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto is available to go through this system too. I want this back to this home screen here, uh, menu here. Uh, this is uh, all the stuff it tells you what have digitally and touch screen. I do love it how we have hard buttons and then we have uh, touch screen buttons in here too. Toyota gives you the choice of what you're gonna use. Project is where that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto comes from. Um, and then we have here, I'm going to go ahead and turn up the radio. This is a nice system for this vehicle. Then we're going to come down and we have all our air controls and heating and cooling here. So I have a three stage heated seats for front passengers. Then medium, low, then off. And then we have a dual climate control. I have a 65 and set for 62 on that side. Actually, it's a three climate control because it has rear climate. There's a button right there for rear climate. If there's only front passengers on here, you could turn on the air just to force it on the front passengers. If there's no really reason to cool anybody down there. Heated steering wheel. We have our heated uh, side mirrors and uh, a rear defrost, front defrost, uh, turning fans. And this is your modes. 
Uh, fan speeds are right here, all available in this here. So coming down to the bottom, the first uh, USB here is the primary USB that ports in your CarPlay or Android Auto. Then you have two more charging USBs and a power port here. Uh, and then we have our shifter. It also does have sequential shifting. It is a CVT transmission, but it mimics having eight speeds, and you could bump it up and down. Coming down below, we have drive modes available in this here. So we have a sport mode, uh, makes it go faster. It changes the shift dynamics, makes it where you're not the mash pedal, tightens up your steering, stiffens up your suspension. So really good for windy mountains, a normal, which most people drive in if you want to get the best fuel economy and eco. We have our power parking brake to set in the, uh, put in the vehicle and park. It sets the per, uh, parking brake and we have a hold button. I would say like, it's like almost like a hill start assist, but once the hold button's on and you stop, then you can take your foot off the gas. It won't go anywhere until you uh, push the gas pedal again. And then we have our traction control off our electric vehicle mode. And this is not like true electric vehicle mode. You can only basically crawl at low speeds, like 20 miles an hour and stop and go traffic, maybe up to a couple miles in a trail mode if you're going off road. We do have a uh, wireless charging pad for your compatible cell phones in here too. And then storage below through the glove box here, another, uh, uh, 12 volt power port is back there and available for you. All right, we're getting on the freeway. I've got lane departure and lane trace set. I got sport mode on and I got adaptive radar pacing cruise control set. So let's show you this thing get up and go. There's your, I'm gonna run this person over. So this can tell you how fast this thing can get up even with the less horsepower that it had in the past. I'm trying to, somebody can't get on the freeway here. They're doing about 20 miles an hour trying to get on the freeway. So I'm going to set this cruise control now, and then I'm going to show you the, the adaptive. So coming up here, it's got, we're already starting to see the lane trace and the uh, adaptive cruise control. I have this thing set for 72 miles an hour. It shows me a vehicle in front because the vehicle is not going 72 miles an hour, so it's pacing it three seconds. So if I want to start straying towards the line, this thing's going to start steering me and it's going to beep that it, I was leaving my lane. Um, some of the other vehicles just like thud the steering wheel, which is pretty cool. I like that better. Uh, but it's not going to let me leave my lane. It's doing this lane trace here um, and maintaining this three second gap between uh, me and the uh, uh, slower moving vehicle over there. So I'm speeding back up a little bit. As you see, still set for that 72 miles an hour. Um, and uh, it's gonna keep me uh, pacing and, and at a three second behind basically another Toyota. We got an FJ Cruiser up there. Nice one too, it looks like it's cement. Um, and that's what this thing will do. Uh, this does have uh, Smart top, stop all the way to zero with the adaptive cruise control, which I um, would not want to demonstrate coming off an off ramp. It is uh, quite sketchy to to uh, see if it will slow you down, but I am slowing down very significantly as I go behind this car. I am not touching the brake right now. And if I go here now, it's speeding up, and it wants to speed up because it sees that I had an open lane. So this thing will break you all the way down with that adaptive cruise control. Again, I'm Mike Hamilton over here, Lithia Toyota Redding, California. And this is just many, many trim levels of the uh, Highlander, hex alley, hybrid, all wheel drive, and all the great features this vehicle offers for a great price. Uh, this thing is just an incredible vehicle, just drives incredible. The lane, lane trace, adaptive cruise control, smart stop, uh, lane departure with steer assist, a rear cross traffic alert, um, heated front seats, uh, uh, all kinds of nice features, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, USBs for the uh, rear passengers, uh, rear air for the rear passengers, just all kinds of nice features in this vehicle. Uh, it's such a great vehicle in everything it does. And then 35 miles to the gallon on this vehicle as an all-wheel drive. You can't touch that in, in a in a Honda Civic or a Toyota Corolla in the gas model. Just incredible fuel mileage. Uh, that's why these vehicles are bought uh, along with their safety and reliability. Thank you for again watching my video on Mike Hamilton. Take care.